Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I have three winning strategies for Google Maps that'll blow you away. Watch this. Darren, I love you, buddy, and I miss you. And uh, this video is for you. All right, guys, so I got a real easy lesson. Shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes to do this, and it's going to dramatically, when I say dramatically, it's going to dramatically increase your rankings. In fact, if you could just leave a comment in the in the comment box below and just let me know how it's helped your rankings. Just just give it about 3 days or so, 3 to 5 days and you should see your rank your rankings start start to move, okay? So we're trying when I say rankings, we're trying to rank right here in the Google 3 pack. This is the most clicked area for local services, right? You need a local doctor or dentist or roofer. In fact, this example, we're using roofer as the example. We want to be right here in this Google three pack. So, okay. So what I need you to do is I need you to log into your Google business profile. You could do it two ways. You could do it by putting in your, just your brand name. My brand name is Mindsaw and I'm going to come to the Google three pack. Or you could go to google.com slash business and click sign in or manage. Just make sure that you sign in using your uh, Gmail account that you use to create your Google business profile. Before that, it was called Google My Business. Okay, so now we're logged in. When we logged in, we are going, well, we're going to see a, uh, we're going to see a page that looks just like, like this all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click edit services okay very simple you're just going to click edit services and you're just going to scroll down i've added a lot of services in for this client and let's just say i wanted to make him more popular for uh where did i see gutter cleaning right here, gutter cleaning services. So I want to make it more, more popular for gutter cleaning services. So I see right here, it says gutter cleaning. These are all the suggested keywords that Google's like, hey, uh, you know, you could rank for these keywords, so why don't you click all of them? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to click, I'm going to click all of these, right? And I'm going to click save. But I'm thinking about just one keyword right now, which is gutter cleaning. All right, so I'll click save and that'll go in there. Okay, very good. Now, hey guys, if you're getting any value out of this video, these three tips, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna to come to my website. I don't know Ridge Top Exteriors, I'm just using them as an example is I'm going to come to my um, gutter cleaning page. See their page right here? It says our services, it says gutters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle in the keyword gutter cleaning. So instead of maybe right here, instead of it just saying gutters, right? I would put a five-star rated gutter cleaning service in uh, uh, Clearwater, Florida, right? Looks like they're from Clearwater. So instead of gutters, right? Five-star rated Google, uh, five, five-star rated Google rated, uh, uh, gutter cleaning service in, in Clearwater, Florida. And then I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit more, right? Uh, gutter cleaning. I'm going to put it in some of the, I'm going to put it in some of the words and maybe I'll add another paragraph. And I'll also put it in the title tag. See the title tag? It just says gutters, ridgetop, exteriors, Tampa. So what I would put is gutter cleaning service, right? So gutter cleaning service and installation, for example, right? Okay, so now I, so that's all I'm doing. I'm just touching up this page, this specific page that has to do with gutters. Not the home page, not the contact us page, just the specific page that has to do with gutters. In your case, it may be residential electrician, or it may be uh, for pressure washing, it may be outside house washing or, or deck cleaning or something like that. Just 
that page. Just touch that page up. All you have to do is do the title tag, just these things. The H1 tag, which is the first big letter on your on your big letters on your page. And 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 just sprinkle it in some of the text over here. In fact, if you want, add another par paragraph just about gutter cleaning, just about that specific service. But put it on that page. Okay, we got that. So we did we did two things. We we went to the Google Business Profile, right? We went to the Google Business. Whoops, where is it? We went to the Google Business Profile and we clicked Edit Services. And we scroll down to the service that said gutters, right? I just gotta go slow, guys, because there's people that's not they're not they're not as swift as you, and they don't get everything that that I'm saying. So I want to make sure everybody understands it. See, now gutter cleaning is a service that Google recognizes them as 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 offering. So I want to make sure that it's on the website because anything that's in your Google business profile should be on your website. So I come down to the gutter cleaning page. I go to I come down to the gutter page and I want to put gutter cleaning service. So I put it in the title tag. I put it in the H1 tag. I'll create some other tags, some H2 tags. Like these are H2s. I'll create some H3 tags. And I'll add more content just about gutter cleaning. Okay, great. I did two things. But I said in my video, right, I said, hey, guys, I'm going to do three, right? So I got to give you the third thing. I got to give you the third thing. So here's the, here's the ninja. Here's the ninja lesson right here. I'm going to type in gutter cleaning in Google. Uh, uh, gutter cleaning. I, I'm sorry. I did gutter installation. I'm going to go to gutter cleaning, right? I don't know why I was thinking that. And I'm going to scroll down to my listing. Now, they may not be listed, so I'll just give you another example. It's okay. So I'm going to scroll down until I find my listing. And of course, they're not found. They don't have enough writing on it. But let's just say they were. They were found. And they're all the way on the bottom. Okay, same example. I'm going to just click their listing. Watch this. I'm going to go to reviews. Watch, guys. Watch, guys. And see where it says write a review? I'm just going to click that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this address. And I'm going to right-click it. And I'm going to copy it this whole URL right here. Because what I wanna do is I wanna send this URL, I wanna send this URL to a customer to write a review. So I can't send them this because they'll think I'm a psycho, right? They'll think that I'm, they'll think I'm crazy. So I have to send them a short URL, so it's shorter. But for a moment, let's just take a look. You notice that it says gutter cleaning in this link? Right? It shows that somebody actually did a search for gutter cleaning and then clicked your listing. So it's not like you sent them the review link that's in the back of Google Business Profile, right? It actually shows this link that you're sending somebody shows that they that they actually did a search, scroll down and click your listing. Okay. So what I want to do is I just want to copy this Right. And I'm going to come over to Bitly. And in Bitly, very simple, I am just going to paste it in and I'm going to shorten it. I'm going to shorten the link. See that? And I'm going to copy it. Watch this. You think this is impossible, right? It's not. And this is the link. This link is the shortened link from all this. Now what you do is I need you to send this out to anywhere between three and five people this week. Like this week, I need between three and five people clicking this link. And I need them to add the word gutter cleaning. So I used uh, Bill and Todd over at Bill and Todd's uh, gutter cleaning service. And, uh, you know, they helped me with my gutter. I had, I had leaves and, a, and an old baseball in there. And they helped clean out my gut, right? Make sure they use the keyword. Make sure they use your brand name, the people that they spoke to. 
and where they're from. So it would be really great if they're able to say, I own a house on the corner of uh, Main and Maple Street by the uh, hospital, by General's Hospital, right? It's even better if they could, if they could, you know, if they could uh, name a, a, you know, some type of uh, point of interest that's around by them. Of course, what Google is trying to do is they're trying to zero in in, in regards to where this review is written. So if they could do that now, don't oh, that's this is what's called an over optimized, you know, uh, review. Don't over optimize all your reviews. Just just these couple. Right. Just these couple of reviews. You want a nice, long review and you want them to add points of interest uh, and, and 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 the service you provided your business name, your name. OK, try to get between three and five reviews. So, okay, we're going to say this again, just real quick, just so because I want to make sure everybody understands, right? We're going to log into the Google business profile. We're going to click the services where it says edit services. We're going to scroll down, right, to one of the services. And in this one, I clicked gutter cleaning service. There was one that I really wanted to rank for. Now, you may say, I want to rank for all of them. Well, then... You got it. You got it. Then you could click all of them and then go to all the pages. I, I want you to understand what I'm what I'm saying here. Right. So I just picked one. Uh, if you want to do all of them, do all of them, but just do them the way that I'm, I'm explaining it. Right. So gutter cleaning. I went to my gutter cleaning page and I added gutter cleaning to that page several times. I put it definitely put it in the H tag. I put it in the title tag right here. Right. If you need help with this, you could. Uh, you could reach out to me. I'll be happy to. I'll be happy to help you. I'll be happy to help you if you need help. You see my cell number here. Okay. Then you come to. Um, then then you put in the keyword into Google. You scroll down to your listing. You click reviews. You copy this link. Right click, copy it. Send it over to Bitly and put it in the shortener, then take this link and send it to three to five people. Now, here's the thing. Send it to people in your zip code. Don't send it all over the United States. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And like I said, guys, if you're interested in local SEO, the only way to see where you're ranking effectively is to use a tool, uh, uh, an SEO grid tool like Local Falcon, like uh, Local Viking. Uh, there's another one called Local Domination. Uh, a friend just suggested I'm looking more into that one as well. This ranking software will show you where you're ranking. So, for example, you may be ranking right here where it's circled right here. But as you start to spread out two, three, four, five miles, you're not ranking. That's the this is the only way to see where you're ranking. Anybody that's interested in local uh, SEO should have this tool, even if you're hiring an SEO expert like myself or, you know, whoever else is out there. Make sure that you also have this tool so you could check their work. They should send you reports at the end of each month, but you should be able to also, you know, check your keywords in this tool. And if you're doing it yourself, what you try to do is in these red areas, this is where you want to try to get your reviews in these red areas. Okay, so try to get three to five reviews in your zip code. And then wait a couple of days, three to five, maybe seven days, and then run this report again. And you'll see this, you'll see your ranking in more areas from doing the three things that I put in this video. All right, guys. So I hope this um, hope this video helped you. You know, one of the thoughts that I had today was about building your business. And it was about the thought that I had was not building your business where you are but building your business where you're going, right? So we all have plans for our business and we all want our business to be in a certain place, you know, in the next 30, 60, 90 days or, or so. And, and we think about where we're going. But if we don't make that move, either learning SEO or hiring an SEO company, 
you're going to be in the same place that you were 30 to 90 days prior, right? So one of the things that I was thinking about, and, and it's funny, is uh, one of the things that I was thinking about is this new chat GPT that's coming out. Uh, uh, I think it, it's my, it, this is something that I'm thinking about. I think that, that in the future that they're going to be somehow uh, selling leads like Angie's List sells you leads and Google, you have to do pay-per-click, you know, and, and you're going to be buying these leads, these these um, these gutter cleaning leads, roofing, uh, power washing, electrical, dentist leads. You're going to be buying those leads for three to five hundred dollars per lead and you'll be competing with, you know, five or six other people. Right. So it's so important right now, while while your competition's sleeping, to build your brand up, build your brand up with these little secrets that I put together um, on YouTube. If you don't have the um, the reason why I put this together is because if you don't have the, the income, right, at least you could do it yourself. That's the thing that's most important to me. What's important to me is is is. Uh, helping you provide for your family. It's not about ranking in the Google three pack. I mean, that's a great, that's great to, to be able to rank in the Google three pack, but it's really just about, um, it's about helping you provide for your family and be a provider for your family. So this way you guys could go out on nice vacations and do nice things on the weekends. That's the thing that's really important. That's, that's my goal. Right. That's really my goal. My goal is to help you. So so you could be uh, so you could be, uh, um, you know, really happy. Right. And if you rank in the three pack and the Google three pack helps you. Well, that's good, too. Guys, I hope this uh, video helped you. Right. I want to let you know that I believe in you. If you watch these videos and you're trying to help I, uh, grow your business, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. Just keep at it, and, and I promise you things will work out. Start building your brand because in the next couple of years, you're going to be paying for leads. The people that didn't build their brands, they're going to have no choice but to but to buy leads for hundreds of dollars, and you don't want to be that guy or girl. All right, guys. Have a great day. Kiss your wife. Kiss your kids. Clean up around the house, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.